Hi, in this paper we investigate a data-driven model of the dynamics of infectious disease in metapopulations with heterogeneous transmission and recurrent mobility. With metapopulation modeling, we can split the population into a network of connected patches. Each patch hosts a subpopulation of NI individuals, and the flows are given by an origin destination matrix indicating the number of people moving recurrently from one place to the other. Here, we define a theoretical framework in which individuals interact in a heterogeneous way. In this case, we consider that each individual makes a fixed number of connections, denoted by K. In this figure, for example, we have one very heterogeneous patch and a homogeneous one. With probability PK, residents in patch I can visit J chosen proportionally to the origin destination matrix elements. Next, we will write Markovian equations for a susceptible infected susceptible dynamics. In all these equations, we use the consecutive rounds of three stages mobility, interaction, and return. The epidemic threshold lambda c will depend on the largest A value of a supramatrix M, which has all information about the demography, social patterns, and recurrent mobility, and each term represents the interactions of residents and visitors. Although the formalism can accommodate any arbitrary mobility network and connectivities, we restrict our analysis to synthetic star-like metapopulation networks, composed of a hub and kappa leaves. Individuals travel from the leaves to the hub with probability delta, while residents of the hub visit all leaves uniformly. It is known in the literature that mobility can be detrimental to the spread of disease, increasing the epidemic threshold. Here, we also find the epidemic detriment, even when assuming a uniform but different connectivity inside each patch. The epidemic threshold increases with the mobility parameter P, that is assumed to be the same for any connectivity K. The same happens when power law connectivity distributions are assumed inside each patch. Note that not only the epidemic threshold increases, but also the prevalence of infected individuals. We also study the dependence with the mobility parameter P. The mobility patterns rule the position of the peak of the epidemic threshold, and its value depends only on the level of heterogeneity. To quantify these effects, we vary the level of heterogeneity of the number of individuals with alpha, the average connectivity with beta, and the second moment of connectivity with gamma. In A, as we decrease gamma, the hub becomes more heterogeneous than the leaves, and the detrimental effects become stronger. The same happens in B. Keeping gamma constant and increasing beta, the hub again becomes more heterogeneous. In both cases, reducing alpha hinders the detrimental effect, since the agents of the leaves are not able to substantially modify the connectivity distribution of the hub anymore. In conclusion, we propose a theoretical framework that accommodates the heterogeneity of human contacts and the complexity of mobility patterns. The model is general and can be used with any real-world mobility, demographic, and social data. In the case investigated here, the epidemic detriment emerges when enhancing mobility, despite the fact that individuals preserve the number of interactions independently of the visited locations. Finally, the formalism presented here constitutes a step forward to account for the interplay between contact and flow structures. Thank you.